Hi. Hi, folks. Can you hear me? Yeah? Very excited to be here today. Um, as uh, she said, we are an AI company, and there's never been a better time to talk about AI than today. Uh, maybe just to get started, how many guys uh, have tried ChatGPT in the past year? OK. It's quite a big number, and it's uh, just about to get bigger. Um, we are about to see like billions of people transitioning away from uh, traditional point and click interface to a natural language interface. That means you type in something, you hit enter, you wait for a response, repeat the cycle until you get what you need. Think about billions of users uh, using conversational AI every single day. That will make for trillions of interactions every single year. And so you're going to end up with a lot of unstructured data, a lot of text, and that might feel very messy and very overwhelming. But in reality, this is a gold mine of information if you just know how to look at it. So the question is, how do we find out what the heck is going on in these conversations? To start with, um, what are our users doing? Are they trying uh, to generate a LinkedIn post? Are they trying to summarize a document? Or perhaps just testing out some code? We don't know. Also, what are our users' most common questions? Like, help me with my own one next one-on-one -on -one with my boss? Or perhaps, um, you know, draft an email for a new client? Again, no idea. Uh, finally, and most importantly, are our users satisfied with the LLM experience? Are they having a pleasant experience, or is it a waste of time? And if it's a waste of time, why is the user experience so bad? Answering these questions at scale is not easy. There were a few ways to get started, pretty good ones, uh, but none of this is allowing you to really understand what's happening in the conversation. So let me tell you why. First thing, you might want to manually analyze every single user conversation, one by one. And that's obviously like a great starting point when you're at the start. Uh, you've got a few beta users, you're going to get a lot of insights, but it's impossible to scale. It's impossible to scale because it will be too time consuming once you have thousands of users. Next, you might be thinking, what about standard product analytics? You know, checking how often people log in, how long they stay logged in for, where they click, and so on and so forth. Again, that's a good starting point, but it's not good enough because it's only scratching the surface. You get a sense of what the user is doing, but you don't know what's the topic, and you don't know what's the intent. Finally, you might be tempted into relying on explicit feedback from the users. We have all heard about thumbs up, thumbs down, MPS scores, 1 to 5, 1 to 10, whatever. Um, the reality is very few of you have ever taken the time to provide feedback. Certainly not me, and I would bet most of you don't do it. So this is, you know, in theory, uh, a great way to get started, but in practice you don't get enough. Today, I am very happy to introduce you to Naboli, which is the ultimate platform to automatically understand what your LLM users are doing. Let me tell you how we operate in three steps. First thing first, segmentation. Every time you pick a conversation, it's made up of multiple segments. That's where the user intent changes. So the first thing we do is splitting it up. This is an example. This is just one user. It's one conversation, but your user wants to do three different things. So these are three different segments. And so as a result of that, we are taking the conversation as input and splitting it up in three different pieces. Once the segmentation process is over, it's time for analysis. That means drilling down on each user segment to find out what's going on. And whether it's a one-hit wonder or an extended exchange, we want to automatically um, understand as much as possible what the user is trying to do. That means automatically understanding what's the intent of the user, what's the topic of the conversation, and whether the user is satisfied or not. So let's look at an example together. We've got, uh, um, sorry, just going back. A first example here is a person asking for some information. And it's a great experience because she gets exactly what she needs right away. One prompt, one good answer. Second example is a little bit different. She's looking to generate a LinkedIn post. And this time around, as you can see, there is a lot of back and forth. 
the user is trying to get where she wants, but it takes some effort. So that's an okay conversation. It's not smooth, so it's not great, but it gets to the point. The final example, uh, the user is looking for information again, but this time around, she just can't get there. She tries multiple times, but she never gets a good answer. So that makes for a bad user experience. Um, once we have uh, kind of identified what's the profile for each individual user, it's time for the third and final step in the process, which is synthesis. This time around, the idea is aggregating insights across thousands of different of users, so to be able to answer the questions that we were um, asking at the beginning of the conversation. So for instance, now we know how many people are satisfied, how many people are dissatisfied with the experience, and why that's the case. We do know what are the most common queries from the users. We do know how to make the LLM better, and much more. In other words, thanks to Nebula, what used to be like a messy, unstructured amount of data now makes sense, and you basically know what the hack is going on. We help you um, improving your LLM product, kind of making it better and making it more user friendly and making it such that you can um, improve your user experience. So um, that's the product. It's uh, live. So I'd be very happy for any of you guys to come and visit at the booth, A7, just around the corner. Um, product is live. Very happy for you to give it a spin, especially if you do use LLMs or conversational AI or ChatGPT. Um, we're just over there, and I'll see you later.